High intensity interval training or sprint interval training is an enhanced form of interval training an exercise strategy alternating periods of short, intense anaerobic exercise with recovery periods. Usually HIT H -I -I -T, sessions vary from 9 to 20 minutes. These short, intense workouts train and condition both your anaerobic and aerobic energy systems. It increases the amount of calories you burn during your exercise session and afterward. HIT training is designed for people whose primary concerns are boosting their overall cardiovascular fitness, endurance, and fat loss without losing muscle mass they already have. Before starting any HIT program, know your zones. This will allow you to hold yourself accountable. This is a graph to give a visual reference, helping you find your numbers. Look to the top of the chart and find your age. Then drop straight down from your age, finding your different exercise zones. I will be 35 this year. So following the directions, my anaerobic hardcore training would be 148 to 167 beats per minute. My aerobic cardio training endurance would be 130 to 148 beats per minute. My weight control or fat burning zone would be 111 to 130 beats per minute. On this video, you will see me do HIIT training for the first 25 minutes and extended cardio in my fat burning zone for the next 35, referencing my heart rate as high as 170 during HIIT training and averaging 130 for my extended. Work intervals or sprints, like in this video, can be as short as 10 seconds or as long as one to four minutes. Here is a beginner HIT training graph. You will see that the high intensity lasts 30 seconds, followed by a one minute of rest. If repeated twice, would equal 20 minutes of perfect HIT training. Now, here is the advanced graph. Notice that the rest times are smaller and the training is 23 minutes total. This is much more intense protocol acknowledging you will be exercising for twice the amount of time with half the recovery time as a beginner. Now, why even care about these numbers? Because if you know your numbers, you can follow the HIIT protocol better. Basically, you look down at your watch and you see if the numbers say what they're supposed to. Your accountability is in educating your steps, enabling you to reach your goals faster. I'm not running. I'm getting a tan. Accountability works both ways. Well, I'll be proud of myself when I get out of here. One seventy. Oh. Oh. The hard thing about this thing is when it all of a sudden blinks a hundred, I gotta go again. Today, I wasn't able to get as many calories out as I would have liked during my workout. I always do my cardio after my workout. So I decided that I probably still had some carbs left in me that I needed to burn. So this wasn't gonna be a one hour of steady heart rate at 135, 145, right? So the first 20 minutes was hit training. Popping in and out of my fat burning zone, burning up that sugar. Body's gonna burn sugar or muscle. I had still had some sugar, just trying to burn that up. Then now, We've slowed down into that fat burning zone. Sam, up here with my buddies right now, and we're all running the mountain together. We're walking the mountain, trying to stay in our fat burning zones. We'd be spread out. It's not possible. I want you to imagine if you're looking down the hill, you're going to see a group of people trying to walk together in the fat burning zones. It's almost impossible. Not a single one of them are going to be the same athletic ability, which means if I'm at 130, not to be redundant, my other buddy who's say less, weighs less weight and uh, he's an uh, ectomorph, he's a little bit uh, lighter on his feet. Well, his 130 is moving up the mountain. My 130 is kind of budging up the mountain. You know, going up the mountain's hard for me. So if I stick with him, then that means I'm above my fat burning zone. That means I'm burning muscle or I'm burning sugar, right? Well, for him, if he slows down, he's not gonna burn a high enough amount of calories that are from fat. See, that's the other neat thing about the heart rate monitor is it allows you to make sure that you're jumping on the line of the most calories burned from fat. It's like yesterday, I went running with my buddy and uh, 
he wasn't in as good a shape as me. So as I was running behind him, allowing him to, to keep the pace at one, 135, 140, um, I would shadow box. So for six miles, I had to shadow box to keep my heart rate up, but we were able to run together. So that could mean walking with weights, that could mean, gentlemen, you're pushing the stroller, uh, whatever you gotta do to, uh, to make your effort a little bit harder to stay with that person that you're, you're trying to do this group exercise with, right? We're on our way back down the mountain right now. Crazy session, awesome. We burned around eight, 900 calories, about an hour. Uh, can't make hour long videos, so you get to see a little bit of it. But the point is, is what you're watching was educated. Even to shoot a video up here, whether it's with you guys or not, you saw that thing, it's worn out. That's what I use, that's how I do it. There's a lot of different equations. There's a lot of guys out there that look really good that do it differently than I do. This is just my anxiety reliever way of losing fat and building muscle um, it's like for me you know I know some guys that still flip open the, the map book right and they're, they're, they're those maps are good you can get anywhere you want to go guys have done that for 50 years but I've got a GPS that's what I feel like I feel like that's my GPS to, to health nutrition educated bites and steps so if you want to evolve join me join davidkimberly.com membership site we'll teach you how to use that thing